hill, there is a cottage with a large garden. And in the cottage lives Mr. Bumbledrop. He's lonely because his poodle Pom Pom is living on a twinkling star with Torchy, the battery boy. Uh, when Pom Pom and the toys were blown into the air by the wind, I made a battery boy to keep me company. But he flew up to the twinkling star in a rocket and only comes down to see me now and again. Oh dear, I do feel miserable by myself. Oh, why? What's that light? Ah, how splendiferous! It's Torchy's magic beam! <laughs> Are you all right, Torchy? Yes, I am, Mr. Bumbledrop, but I miss you. Uh, and I miss you too. Why don't you come down right away? <laughs> I'm already in my rocket. I can see the moon. And now I can see the earth. When I lift the rocket shiny new, I will fly very high up into the deep blue sky. I will wave the earth goodbye. If you like, you can come too. I will find the biggest star that twinkles very bright. It glitters like a diamond and sparkles through the night. I will pass the moon and the clouds are raised. I will start to count the stars as I zoom out into space. In my little rocket shiny new, I will fly very high up into the I will wave the earth goodbye. If you like, you can come too. <laughs> come into the garden, Mr. Bumbledrop, and you can watch me land. By the time Mr. Bumbledrop went into the garden, the rocket had already landed, and Torchy and Pom Pom were stepping out of it. Dear Mr. Bumble Wumbledrop, how lovely to see you. <laughs> and it's wonderful for to see you and my darling, lovely Wooly Bum Bum. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. <laughs> You're nearly knocking me over. <laughs> Come into the house, both of you. You're just in time for supper. Oh, goody, goody. What have we got? Uh, there's meat stew for us and some dog biscuits mashed in milk for Pom Pom. <laughs> <laughs> Pom Pom doesn't like dog biscuits. On Topsy Turvy Land, she only chews crispy, crunchy bones and meatballs covered in chocolate sauce. Uh, is that so now? Well, she isn't going to get any chocolate sauce here. Chocolate's very bad for dogs. <laughs> No, 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 don't bark at me. <laughs> Behave yourself, Bum Bum. No, no, sit. No, 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 sit, I say. Uh, yeah. And don't growl at me either. Uh, my goodness. You're becoming a spoiled poodle. Sit out here until you can behave yourself. After Mr. Bumbledrop and Torchy had had supper, they sat down by the fire. I do wish you'd come up to the Twinkling Star. Uh, well, I, I will come one day, Torchy, but not now. Uh, I have a lot of things to do in the house. Do the children come and play with you now? Oh, yes. Since you took Bossy Boots to Topsy Turvy Land and taught her how to behave herself, she's been very good indeed. And she lets all the children play in my garden even though you didn't bring back the other toys. I'm glad Bossy Boots is good. That sounds like Pom Pom. Oh, please let her in, Mr. Bumbledrop. She doesn't like coming down to Earth, you know, because she can't talk properly down here, and it makes her cross. Uh, well, all right, Torchy. It's a letter in. Come on, Pom Pom. Push the door with your nose. <laughs> no, no, no. Stop licking me and sit down. <sighs> How good it is to have you two back again. In the morning, Torchy and Pom Pom played on the seesaw. <laughs> I'm going to do some shopping, Torchy. Is there anything I can get for you? 
Well, I think I'd better have another battery, Mr. Bumbledrop. I haven't had a new one inside me for a long time. Uh, and so you haven't. Yes, it would be terrible if your battery stopped working, because then you wouldn't be able to walk and talk like a real life boy. That would be dreadful. Uh, no, don't you worry, me boy. I'll bring a new battery straight back with me. Goodbye now. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Come on then, Pum Pum. It'll do you good to have a run. Now, what can I do by myself? Such a long time since I've been on Earth that I've forgotten what it's like. I'll walk to the village as well and come back with Mr. Bumbledrop and Pompo. Torchy walked along the road. It was much longer to the village than he had thought, and soon he began to feel tired. I don't think I can walk much further. And, oh dear, my voice is getting rather slow. I think my battery is running down and stopping. Poor Torchy's battery ran down completely, and he lay there like an ordinary toy. Suddenly, a mean-looking woman called Mrs. Meany Mouth came walking down the road. Well, fancy! <gasps> Someone has lost their toy! Mm. Quite a nice one, too. I think I'll take it home for my little boy. He can do with another toy. Mr. Bumbledrop was at the bottom of the road when he saw Mrs. Meany Mouth pick Torchy up. Oh dear, that nasty woman is carrying Torchy. His battery must have broken down. Give me back my toy. <whistles> he doesn't belong to you. <whistles> Come back. Don't you shout at me, Bumbledrop. Finding's keepings, and I'm taking this toy home to my boy, Bogey. I'm fed up playing with this train. All it does is go round and round and round and round and round and round and round. Oh, wish I had some more toys. I'll go and look in my cupboard and see if I can find something. Oh, I haven't got a thing to play with. I'll make Mummy go to the toy shop and buy me something new. Bogey! Bogey! Here I am. I've got something for you. What is it? <gasps> Why? Cool, it's a toy. Did you buy it? No, I found it on the road and I thought you'd like it. Cool! Yes, I would. It's beautiful. Why, well, he's wearing a helmet and has a switch on his jacket. Oh, oh, it won't light up. Well, I expect it needs a new battery. I'll go down to the shop and buy you one. I'll come with you. Maybe you'll buy me another toy. No, one toy's quite enough. Don't be so greedy, I'll box your ears. If you hit me, I'll let you back. Don't you talk to me like that or I won't buy you a new battery at all. Uh, I'm sorry, Mummy. I didn't mean it. I'll be very good for a little while. All right, then. You might as well come with me to the shops. Yeah, we'd better not take the toy with us in case the little boy or girl who lost it is out looking for it. Oh, how clever of you to think of that, Bogey. <laughs> All right, let's leave the toy here. Bogey and Mrs. Meany Mouth went out and poor Torchy lay on the table. How dreadful for him to belong to such a horrid child. Just then, the door creaked open and in tiptoed Mr. Bumbledrop and Pompom. There's my little Torchy lying on the table. Ah, now don't worry, Torchy, me lad. I've bought a battery and I'll take out the old one and slip this one inside. <laughs> uh, all right, now don't be afraid, Pom Pom. Shh, go to the window. And let me know when you see Mrs. Meany Mouth coming back. Pom-Pom padded over to the window. <coughs> and she could see Bogey coming back to the house. I'm not going down to the shops after all. I'd much rather play with my new toy instead. I'll take him to pieces and find out how he works. <coughs> All right, all right, Pum Pum. Yes, 
I've just put in the new battery. Right. Get up, Torchy. Thank goodness you came to save me, Mr. Bumbledrop. <laughs> all right, all right, Bumbo. We'll go at once. We'd better slip out the back way, then we won't bump into Mrs. Meany Mouth and Bogey. Oh, oh, oh dear. I'm quite out of out of breath. I'm too old for running like that. Bogey won't be able to catch me now. Yeah, I should hope not. Uh, but you must be more careful in future, Torchy. When you think your battery's running down, you should always put in a new one. But I never carry a new one on me. Then you should do. I can't have anything happening to you or Pom Pom because I... I love you best in all the world. Now, before you go back to Topsy Turvy Land, I'll buy you another battery and an extra bulb. I want to go back to Topsy Turvy Land now. I don't like staying here with so many naughty children around. Well, I was afraid you'd say that. Uh, not that I can blame you. <laughs> and you want to go back as well. <laughs> All right, then. I'll kiss you both goodbye. And you can leave. We'll come back another time, Mr. Bumbledrop. And until we do, we'll always think of you. Torchy, 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 the little battery boy. I'm a clever walkie-talkie toy with bright blue eyes and golden hair. I've a magic beam that can shine anywhere. Torchy, Torchy, the little battery boy. Torchy, Torchy, the battery boy. I'm a walkie-talkie toy. Press my switch, see my bulb start to gleam. It's the most magic light you have seen. Torchy, 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 Torchy. <laughs>